Welcome to all you Sagittarians. Welcome for your monthly horoscopes for Sagittarius in general for November 2013. Now what is going on in November? There's an eclipse and I, I'm trying to make those videos a bit shorter but it's not really working. But I'm at least doing my best and um, but I have made a separate video about the eclipse because I know some people are very interested in eclipses and I want to know a bit more detail. Now for you Sagittarius, I have a Sagittarius rising myself and um, I know that for Sagittarius it's uh, been a time of a lot of focusing of planets in water signs and water is very uh, you know, it's different than fire, isn't it? The Sagittarian normally, or someone with planets there, uh, is the sign that is walking and walking and exploring and on the adventure for more knowledge and for more adventure. And that is how they grow and how they expand. That is the Sagittarius. Now, the Sagittarius is really, really now triggered to contemplate and to think about their blind spots and to dig very deep. This is uh, the Scorpio thing going on with the eclipse. There are many planets in your 12th house during the eclipse, which, is, which occurs at the 3rd of November, but has a bearing on the whole month actually. And um, there's also Mercury retrograde in your 12th house. So Mercury, the planet of our thinking, goes direct again around the 11th. So expect some uh, clearing up of your mind and um, not being that misty anymore around the middle of the month. And especially next month when um, Mercury is going to enter your sign, you're going to see things much much more clearer so if you think now you're a bit in the fog I think it's normal and I think it's there to investigate what you're all about so a lot of Sagittarians are really now uh, looking in the mirror and are really now exploring uh, the deeper patterns that they don't want to unfold so they're, they are really uh, at the moment of changing those patterns and they are really at the moment of knowing way more about themselves than they have ever known. That is this, the, the, the secret of the 12th house. You know, when all these planets are going to shift next month into your house, you are really going to uh, be able to say, I've grown, you know, uh, I've grown more centimeters than I normally do in, in the same time. So this is a, a thing that Sagittarius people mostly like. Um, but of course, the Scorpio energy is about what comes around, goes around. So if you keep on uh, pushing things that you don't want to see, pushing them under the carpet or under the table, then it's not going to be that easy. But I think that uh, Sagittarius is a positive sign, so they will do everything to um, find solutions and to, to make that solution. Now I'm looking at the chart at Mars because Mars plays a big role in this solar eclipse. So the solar eclipse is actually very Jupiterian, Sagittarian like because at the highest level of the solar eclipse, which is when this eclipse was born hundreds of years ago, and I explain that in my Saros um, uh, video, I'll put a link of that as well. That was the time of um, new ideas coming in, new visions coming in. So this is particularly very um, having affinity with the Sagittarius. So you're going to, towards times with bigger visions and you, a, a new path there waiting for you. This is really good. But now in November is more the time just before those new routes to explore. And um, therefore it's an important time. A lot of stuff is, is, is going on on the inner side. You've got your ruler Jupiter going retrograde in the 8th house. Um, so the 8th house is also this hidden house, this house of battling your 
demons, you could say. So you're doing that as well at the, uh, at the background. But as I said, Mars is playing an important role and Mars is in Virgo, which is very good for you because, okay, it squares up to your sign, but it is in your 10th house. So um, if you want to make changes at work, it's the time now. Mars is going to be there the whole month in Virgo. So it's time for you to, if, to put more action into your job or into maybe finding a new job if you want. Um, and that eclipse is related to that. So that eclipse of knowing yourself in a deeper way is also connected in how you are um, doing things at work. And maybe, maybe you're, you're a bit bored at work and maybe you think that you can't do your thing there. And maybe it's a time for change. So it's a good time to put some action in, in that. Now, Venus has been in your first house. A couple of days it will be in your first house, but for the most part of November, it will be in your second house, which is the house of if you want to gain a bit more money, hopefully it will come a bit easier for you. Uh, it come in a bit easier. Venus in the second house is also good for your self-confidence. So you will get a boost of self-confidence and it's a Capricorn boost. So it's a, it's a real one. So that is good as well. And Sagittarius is already a sign with some good confidence. But if you're liking it, it's nice, it's nice to have Venus in the second house and to give you that boost. You're going to love yourself a little bit more. It's also going to conjunct through the middle of the month it's going to conjunct Pluto square up to Uranus so um, when you are single it's uh, maybe it's going to be a very exciting time because Uranus is in your fifth the house of romance and Venus is triggering that aspect of Pluto and Uranus so Pluto and Uranus is all about what we fear we have to go through it so maybe you are single and for a long time and you fear relationships it's now the time that you, are, uh, that you can be open to meet someone and probably if you're going to meet someone they're going to make a, uh, big changes um, toward, towards your own personality because Pluto really and Venus and Pluto is all about the transformation when we, when we fall in love and the transformation when we meet new people. When you are having a relationship it can mean on, a, on another level that you are going to uh, change the way that you express yourself and you are going to and it's maybe going to be more intense your relationship but I don't necessarily see this as a good thing on the contrary I think you are going to like it um, and that's it so uh, I think that's that's the most important thing for you Sagittarius if you want a reading uh, take a look at my website and as I said, if you want to explore a bit more on these subjects, um, click on the link below. Thank you for watching, you uh, uh, Sagittarians. Keep on going and see you next month. Bye-bye.